What's good YouTube, my name is Cytrus Beats and today I'm going to show you how to make a West Coast type beat. This is like some emotional West Coast peso type shit and I also got a loop kit for you all at the end so stay tuned guys. And now let's get started with the first melody. And my first melody is a piano from Nexus. For those emotional West Coast type beats I like to use acoustic piano more than an E piano, I don't know why. I started off with making a minor triad and the minor triad is basically put on your root note, can be whatever you want. In this case a F, then you go 1, 2, 3 up, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then you got your minor chord and you can also extend that so this would be a minor 7, minor 9th, 11th and so on. Yeah for this beat I started off with the minor triad and then I just took this F and pitch it down a whole octave and also an octave down you can still hear this triad but there's like more going on around and it's not so boring i think i did my chord progression like this so i had the g down here but then i wanted to put it down uh, up an octave because i don't know why i thought it sounded good and it sounds like this it's much more bright like this and I took this F minor triad and put it down 7 semitones. You can also do it 5 but in this case I did 7. And then I pitched the root note up an octave. And then what I did for my next chord is I took the G from here and then again put it down an octave. So where it originally stayed. And also took the highest note of my chord and pitched it down an octave. Then for the last chord I copied this over. But then this was like too boring for me and I wanted a little transition between the bars. So I took the F, pitched it up and then I placed the G down, the G sharp. Because it goes very well as a transition from the G sharp to the G. And this is what the whole thing sounds like. You already got peso feeling like you wanna tell a story or some shit. Then I made the bass line and this is the real bass. The synth bass is from Pure are gold as fuck. If you don't have this plugin just crack it or some. But yeah this plugin is goaded for synth basses. You can also use GMS and I don't know Analog Lab has some nice synth basses too. But Pure D is my favorite. Yeah with this with the bass line always try to stay in the root note. So yeah this my root note is the F. So I just took it and pitched it down two octaves and then got A sharp as my root note. Originally it was here and then I pitch it up an octave and then for some variation I took these two and put it down an octave again. Then at the very end I just added this little note. This is what the bassline sounds like. Yes sir. And then actually my last melody because for those kind of beats bro you, you want to leave space for the artist to hop on and in most cases i have a piano bass line and then i don't know some vocal sample from arcade and maybe a string i try to keep it as simple as possible and then for my hook i took out the bass line and added this arcade vocal sample and this is what it sounds like put the volume down a bit. I really think this fits this emotional type vibe and you can often hear vocal samples in the background of peso songs so uh, these are like valid to use and my favorite plugin for that is Arcade. You can also use Splice or go on YouTube and find some vocal samples. I also got this whole melody in my loop kit that's upcoming and if you want my loops earlier you can hit me up. That's the full melody and after that we gonna go over to the drums. drums I made this clap pattern classic clap pattern and just made like this small change and then also a clap roll at the end added the crash open head and another open head but this time reversed so this goes into the clap and also a quick trick what I do for my open head I go into the envelope and then I take everything down except for the hole so I can control when the open head stops when it starts the clap hits right here so I make the open head stop right before the clap hits and after that I edit this sound effect and for the transition between bars the scratch and then also on the clap I learned this trick from infinite put this triangle on the clap for some accent 
and then I made the Hyatt. And then I made the 808, just stayed in the root note and made this chord progression, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, at the end I just pitched this up an octave and then put the G note like a little transition. After that I made the kick and this a really simple pattern. Just added some little transitions like uh, risers and shit. Some simple.